Imagine harnessing the power that fuels the sun. This is the dream behind nuclear fusion, the artificial sun. It's an idea that has captured imaginations, creating energy by fusing atoms together, just like our star. Fusion promises immense clean energy. Unlike fission, fusion combines atoms. This process is cleaner and more efficient. Many are excited about this technology. It's about creating a sustainable, limitless energy source. This could revolutionize energy and combat climate change. Nuclear fusion is the process of merging two light atomic nuclei to form a heavier nucleus. This releases a tremendous amount of energy. It's the same reaction that powers the sun and other stars. In the sun, hydrogen atoms fuse to form helium, releasing energy in the form of light and heat. To achieve fusion on Earth, scientists need to replicate these extreme conditions. This means heating fuel to temperatures of millions of degrees. At such high temperatures, atoms become ionized, forming a plasma. This plasma must be contained and controlled for fusion to occur. One method scientists use is magnetic confinement, where powerful magnetic fields trap the hot plasma. Another approach is inertial confinement, using laser beams to compress the fuel. Both methods aim to sustain the conditions necessary for fusion. The challenge lies in maintaining these conditions long enough to produce more energy than is consumed. If successful, fusion could provide a nearly limitless energy source. Creating a fusion reaction requires precise conditions. The fuel, typically isotopes of hydrogen like deuterium and tritium, must be heated to extreme temperatures. At these temperatures, the atomic nuclei collide with enough force to overcome their natural repulsion. Once the nuclei fuse, they form a heavier nucleus and release energy. This energy is mostly in the form of kinetic energy of the particles, which can be converted to heat. This heat can then be used to generate electricity, much like traditional power plants. Magnetic confinement devices like tokamaks use donut-shaped chambers to contain the plasma with magnetic fields. The International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor, ITER in France, is one of the largest and most advanced tokamaks. Inertial confinement involves compressing a small pellet of fuel with intense laser beams to trigger fusion. Both methods have their own set of challenges, but they also offer different pathways to achieving sustained fusion. The goal for both is to reach the break-even point where the energy produced equals the energy consumed. Recently, South Korea has made significant strides in nuclear fusion research. Their flagship project, the Korea Superconducting Tokamak Advanced Research, or K-STAR, has achieved remarkable milestones. In 2023, K-STAR maintained a high-temperature plasma for 30 seconds, a new record. This achievement is noteworthy because sustaining such temperatures is a major hurdle. It brings us closer to the goal of continuous, stable fusion reactions. Kastar's success is a testament to the progress being made in magnetic confinement technology. Korea's advancements are crucial for the global fusion community. They provide valuable data and pave the way for future experiments. Collaboration with other international projects, like ITER, enhances these efforts, pooling resources and expertise. These developments are promising, but there's still a long way to go before fusion becomes a practical energy source. Continued research and investment are essential to overcome the remaining challenges. The potential benefits of nuclear fusion are immense. Firstly, it offers a nearly inexhaustible supply of fuel. Deuterium can be extracted from seawater, and tritium can be bred from lithium. This means we wouldn't run out of fusion fuel for millions of years. Secondly, fusion is much cleaner than current energy sources. It produces no greenhouse gases and minimal long-lived radioactive waste. This makes it an attractive option for combating climate change and reducing pollution. Moreover, fusion energy is incredibly powerful. A small amount of fuel can produce a vast amount of energy. This efficiency could lead to lower energy costs and more stable energy supplies. It also reduces the geopolitical tensions associated with fossil fuel resources. However, realizing these benefits requires overcoming significant technical challenges. Continuous research, 
funding, and international cooperation are crucial to making fusion energy a reality. Despite exciting advancements, there are still many challenges. Maintaining extreme conditions for fusion is difficult and costly. The materials must withstand intense heat and radiation. Achieving the break-even point where energy output equals input is a major hurdle. Progress is being made, but it may take decades for commercial viability. Public and private investment is crucial. Building infrastructure and supply chains is a long-term effort. The potential rewards are immense. Continued innovation and international collaboration are key.